to finish. It's the restoration of the last Hemi. Fresh out the booth, here we are with the progress on the last Hemi. Um, all the parts have been painted inside, outside. The car has been painted, clear coated, inside, outside, done, ready to go now. Um, so our finish is on, now we give it a couple days to set up. I'm gonna take and I will block sand and wet sand, the whole clear coat, leave it open for a couple more days, just so if it had skin, skin hardened, any of the imperfections will be sanded out. And then by cutting it open, any kind of trapped solvents can release, can escape. Then after you buff it and you seal it all back up, you don't have that shrink back, that die back. Um, I try and let everything air dry, try not to force dry anything because anytime you're accelerating something, you're having that chance of trapping something or, you know, just having longevity issues. Uh, I want this to look as good 20 years from now as it does when I'm done buffing it. So that's why I take a little extra time. And so while we're waiting for it to set up and before I break it open, now what we do is we start focusing on some of the uh, restoration of the small parts, um, start assembly of the dashboard, little things that you know need to go get you to that next level. And while waiting there, we just jump to a different area and we'll focus on some of that stuff for the time being. Getting little stuff rolling, what we end up doing is, I'll start putting in restoring all the window mechanisms, all the quarter windows, get everything in. But some of the stuff inside, we'll get door mechanisms in. I still have to do the blackout treatment for the interior for, you know, black paint that needs on there. I'll probably do that after I get it broke open, get that done, taken care of, just so it's out of the way also. I've got the heater box completely torn apart, have replaced all the felts on the flapper doors. Um, everything that's gotten eaten up over time, deteriorated, um, you know, the varmint damage where you get the mice in there and they make their little homes and their bathrooms and, and you name it. So, you know, we're taking care of all that. Every little piece of uh, hardware that may have been rusted, if that was rusted from rat damage, there's always that stink. You want to blast all that out, get all the, uh, the stuff sandblasted, uh, bead blasted, re refinished, cleared, painted, whatever it was supposed to be, get it done. Um, putting in the new, you know, like I said, all the, the sound dampening and the heat dampening and uh, uh, the firewall pads, everything. Try and do it as correct as possible and maybe even better than possible. This is what takes your restoration to the next level. This is where, you know, some people can't hang in. Some people want to throw in the towel because there's a lot of hours spent on just little nitpicky knickknack stuff that needs done. Um, so, you know, again, here we are going the extra mile. Uh, this car will smell good inside. It'll be everything perfect and new. No old materials left over. Uh, it's coming along real well. For more on the restoration of The Last Hemi, visit our website at thelasthemi.com.